Byron Brown. And I'm Melanie Christopher. Vicksburg's Fairground Street Bridge dates back to the 1890s, and the city's mayor says it's been around long enough. WJTV 12's Margaret Ann Carter has the story from the newsroom. Margaret Ann? Melanie, the 123-year-old Vicksburg Bridge sits on top of some very active railroad tracks. The Railroad Association has expressed their safety concerns to Mayor George Flags, but with a $4 million price tag to demolish the bridge, the city can't act alone. Constructed in 1895, the Fairground Street Bridge has more than served its purpose, and Vicksburg leaders say it's time for this piece of dilapidated history to be history. It's a bridge that had not been in use for years. It's unsafe, and the railroad is pressuring us to do something. In 1987, the bridge was added to the National Register of Historic Places. Eight short years later, it was deemed unsafe and closed. Over the years, this Mississippi landmark has become an eyesore, with blight wrapping the rusted iron and decaying infrastructure. It really is just hanging on by a thread. I understand history full well. But this time, history has eroded itself away. Mayor Flags has asked the Mississippi Department of Archives and History and the Department of Transportation Emergency Road and Bridge Repair Fund for money to help restore or demolish what he calls a bridge to nowhere. But even if the bridge is gone, Flags has a solution to keep its history alive. If nobody's going to put money into it, allow us to demolish it and put a landmark there. We can mark that site. We can put a, put a mark on that site that will last forever. The State Department of Archives and History is scheduled to assess the bridge within the next two weeks and make a decision on what to do next. Melanie? Thank you very much, Margaret.